So when it comes to thinking about the vice presidential pick and how much it matters electorally, you know, it's it's sort of a it's I think the the general political science research on this is it might have a slight effect in the home state of the the candidate. A regional effect is kind of harder to I think pin down. So if you think about a state like Minnesota, that was you know if Harris is losing Minnesota, she's losing the election. You know it's not it's not the key swing state or one of the key swing states in the way of Pennsylvania, where Josh Shapiro is from, of course, or Michigan or Wisconsin, or thinking about the Sun Belt states like Nevada, Arizona, and Georgia. However, Minnesota is still a relatively competitive state in the grand scheme of things. It's sort of in that outlying, you know, it's sort of maybe more like a Virginia where it's blue leaning, but it's still like still competitive. Republicans have won there uh, statewide in the not distant past, um, even though Minnesota actually curiously is the longest running state to vote Democratic. The last time it voted Republican in a presidential election was 1972. But at the same time, it's been close. Like Hillary Clinton carried it by less than two points in, in 2016. Uh, so I think it's, it's sort of a thing of, you know, this, this really gets to sort of Walls' appeal. Are you hoping, you know, I, I don't want to steal Galen's thunder on this, but Galen, while we were chatting before the podcast, mentioned, you know, is Walls maybe a Tammy Baldwin-esque figure, some, uh, who's the senator from Wisconsin, who has won – pretty impressively statewide uh, and is up for re-election again here in 2024 and is leading in the polls in Wisconsin, probably will run ahead of the Democratic presidential ticket in Wisconsin by how much could matter a great deal to her chances of winning re-election. But she's, she's uh, has a progressive reputation, but yet has managed to do well, uh, continue to do well in places where, where, I think there was concern that dem- for Democrats that they would be losing ground in like northern Wisconsin, uh, in places that were historically very like labor friendly. Uh, you have mining and other activities going on, um, and so I think Walls. I think maybe there's a chance that Walls is getting in touch with that uh, potentially anyway, as sort of a, a progressive who doesn't necessarily, in terms of the vibes he gives off, or doesn't give off those vibes. Uh, so it, it'll be interesting to see uh, for sure. Scan this QR code to go to the Apple and Spotify podcast apps to download the full 538 Politics podcast. 